I'm here to say yo, I key. Canada. I pray. Power move. I key. I see, I free, I pray. I key. Yeah. Yes, my people, welcome back to the channel. I key, I key life in Canada. Today we are about to season up our oxtail, the Jamaican style oxtail. So I got myself onions, green onions, pepper, thyme, garlic, onion powder, all-purpose seasoning, you need a browning, black pepper, and soy sauce. And yeah, as you can see, I already started giving this a little soak, washed it up prior to with some vinegar. And yep, this is my third wash. So I got myself lime in there. So yeah. I'm just gonna wash this up a bit. Yep, we're gonna drain this out guys. Yeah. So what I'm doing I'm just prepping this so I'm going to season it up for tomorrow, let this marinate overnight and you get yourself that beautiful flavor from it, so yeah, oxtail, yeah. so like I say, you had to wash this a few times, this is, I washed it prior to this with some vinegar and now I did the lime wash. And all what you want to do is like literally rub this all over. And you can just drop them back here. You know what? Let me just drop this in this pot. So I get my secondary pot here. So I'm going to just chit, 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 put this over here, throw this here, rub this a bit, put this over here. Yeah, man, get this. Yeah, we're just prepping for that oxtail. I love oxtail. So, welcome to the kitchen, guys. If you're here to learn, this is what this channel is about. So, yeah, let's get into it. The preparation of the oxtail. Yeah, man. You want to get this. Okay, so we just rub this all up in this. Rub this baby up. Like I say guys, you dump this in a bowl, you wash it a few times with vinegar, rinse it out, then put a little, squeeze a few limes on there. One lime is okay, but I like to use two. And then after I still rub this up a bit. Yeah. The famous oxtail. baby yeah that is it guys so as you can see oxtail is all ready to go rinse my hands a bit and some people normally dry this off with a napkin but well so no need to so we move over to the stove put this guy aside and let's get into it. Uh, let me see if I can get this light on. Yep. So, like I said, you get yourself onion powder. 
you get yourself garlic powder garlic powder all purpose some all purpose I'm gonna put it in this and then I'm gonna just spread this bad boy all over this yeah man yeah man you need yourself some soya soya you need yourself some brown guy oh yeah yep and then we come over here to the grid seasoning oh my gosh this green oh boy this looks so good sure in all your ingredients you chopped up earlier like i say pepper bell peppers you got yourself onion you got yourself green onion your thyme and that's about it and you could get yourself your garlic chop the bill your garlic and also you need some ginger you can put yourself a little ginger in there ginger is really healthy so let's just dump this in here we got to dump this yep and let's mix this up yep let's mix this up with love let's mix this up with love guys yeah, we're gonna mix this baby up. Sorry, I'm kind of handicapped right now because my hands, my hands. So we're gonna mix this up yes. with one hand. <laughs> you could use both your hands. No need for a spoon, but because of my burnt, I'm trying to use stay clean in this kitchen. And what you want to do is just mix this up nicely and let this baby marinate overnight. Close it up, put it in the free refrigerator. And you have yourself this beautiful meal. Yeah, man. Up a little black paper in there. Oh, where's my black paper? I'm gonna have to use this guy because, yep, guys, if you have throw some black paper in there, if you have this, it's fine too, but it's the same thing. So, like I said, just mix this up, mix this baby up. Mix this baby up. I want to put a little more browning in there. Just a little bit. Get this baby mixing, guys. Yep. Yeah, man. It's my first time trying oxtail, so we're doing this, guys. We are doing this. We are trying the ox still yeah nice oh yeah yeah it's better to use two hands because you could get all up in there but because like i said i'm trying not to because i got myself my burnt hand so i'm trying to make sure every part of this meat gets covered up nicely with the seasoning this is exactly what you want to make sure is happening every part of this gets rubbed in nicely you know yeah man yep that's it guys so you just want to make sure every single piece get rubbed in beautifully and yeah, we keep this overnight. That's about it, guys. And 
like I say, if you have a cover, if you don't, you get yourself your serrano wrap and just still tight this baby up. Close this baby up. Put in the refrigerator and all good for tomorrow. Yes, 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 my beautiful people of this world. Welcome back. Give thanks for the breath of life. And yes, let's get into it. I go by the name of Ike, Ike Life in Canada. Never had a reason to cook due to my circumstances now. I have to. So I just take it a day at a time, learn how to do everything day at a time. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus. Yes, you know that song if your parents go to church back in the days. You know what that is, sitting in church. And yeah. So I had my oxtail marinating overnight. So yeah. But I can't function right now. So I start my day. I need to make myself my drink. And let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it today. I need a little. I already poured my coffee. Is my coffee in here? As you can see, I have this guy here, and I put myself some of this in here. Yep. Yeah, I need to start my day. As you can see, I got burnt. Like I said, I never had a reason to cook. So due to my circumstances now, new lifestyle. So we'll get into that. Hopefully, one day I could open up and talk about my life's journey that's for another day but like i said now let's get into the cooking but before that i need to get my coffee going for the morning oh i'm gonna put a little bit more in there because i feel like yeah, I'm excited to cook this meal today. First time doing oxtail. So, yeah. I'm gonna do this today. Nothing like home cooked meal, right? So, I used to hate the kitchen, like I said. Like, that was never my thing. I never had a reason to. I always seem to be burning down the house. So I stayed away from that. Right? But now, new day, new beginning. I put my ice in here. Let's put some ice in here. I'm going to put this thing in there. Ooh, nice. I'm going to put a little cream in there. Yes, guys. You could do that yourself at home. Super quick Starbucks style iced coffee. Yep, like I said, you could do this yourself. Two seconds, this is all ready to go. So, yep, let's get rid of these guys. Um, it is even better if you have um, what's it called? Um, that syrup. Could put some syrup in there and there we go okay so now before we get into this let me get a straw because i can function like i said i need my my oh looks beautiful yep mm -hmm. i told you starbucks coffee so let's heat up the pan Let's heat up that pot, get yourself a pot, and like I say, we get into the oxtail. So if you guys uncover up your pot, it should look like this, because it's been seated. Oh my gosh, the smell. Just the beautiful scent, the aroma. Can you smell it, guys? Inhale, exhale. Oh my God, that beautiful aroma. Ah, this smells wonderful. So my pot is getting heated. 
I'm going to sprinkle a little oil in here. Just a little bit of oil. Oh my gosh. The smell from this guy. Oh. Please tell me when you did it and you uncovered the day after. What an amazing smell from this. True blessings. And as you can see, I have my Starbucks coffee I made. Quick, easy. Starbucks ice coffee. To function. So my pot is heating up. All you want to do now is make sure we can get those in there. We just want to slightly make this turn into a little brownish color. It's almost like a caramel caramel brownish color right so yes my people that is it Ike life in Canada subscribe like and share we are learning to cook like I said I never had a reason to but new beginnings due to my circumstances of life I have to start from scratch every single thing I gotta learn to cook and it's been a journey it's been a beautiful journey but now I love it I love it like I I'm so excited to go into the kitchen now I used to hate it but I find such passion in doing it now and it's healthy especially for what I'm going through so it's very very healthy that's one another day another story we'll get into this maybe one day when i'm comfortable enough to share that story of how i got into this yep so you just want to make sure you drop this just a single pieces in there yeah no worries guys once you follow those steps we're gonna have ourselves a beautiful beautiful meal tell me i'm not the only one when when after cooking that you feel so full that you cannot even eat. I can't, this can be the, I'm, I cannot be the only person that's happening to though. Like I feel so full. Everything my friends, I had to learn from the beginning stages of cooking. Like I couldn't, I used to boil eggs and forget it on the pot and you know, it was a disaster in the kitchen every time. But look at me now. Look at me now. I could come in here and wake up and say, you know what? I'm going to learn to cook this today. I'm going to learn to cook that today. And I just do it, right? I, I just go ahead and I just do my stuff. I just, you know, tell myself I can do it. And I take my time, right? No need to rush. Just take your time, take it easy guys. This is what learning is about. Trials and error, you learn from your mistakes. You know? And if you never cook like myself, like you will enjoy it, trust me. In the beginning, it may seem like, oh my god, it's too much, it's too much, oh my god. No, it's not. Just take it easy like I said and everything will work out. Just make sure your pot is always on the low. So that way you're not burning, burning stuff. And be careful because like I said I already got burned. So just be careful around this, you know. So like I said this is the upsell the beginning after you already seasoned up your stuff after everything is already seasoned overnight 
Yeah, I like cleaning up a bit when I'm doing this. This is no cover for some of you who's wondering what is this. This is just something to prevent the oil from jumping all over the place. So I love this thing. I had no idea what it was. Somebody told me about it. So. Yeah, I'm excited to cook this. And if you never know, I did the wonton soup that came out beautiful. Everybody is like, oh, you gotta make me the wonton soup again. So that was, uh, this was beautiful. Yeah, that Chinese dish was amazing, the wonton soup. So you could check out my video on the wonton soup. I also did the um, Jamaican fish, steamed fish. Oh, that came out. Mwah. Just surprised myself on that. I really did. I really did. So it's not ready yet, guys. As you can see, you want it to just turn a little browny color on there. And then you could flip those over. Yeah. So once you see a little browny color there, that's exactly what we need, guys. We need this to, yeah, give it that little caramel look. Yep. We just want that little browny look under, and that is it. You see? That's what we need, guys. Trust me, guys. If I can do it, you can do it too. You know that commercial? If I can do it, you can. <laughs> but it's nice too, you know, when you can actually do that stuff. It's beautiful that you could, you know, your loved one coming home from work and you know you in the kitchen, you cook this and they could come home to a hot meal. It's, it's nothing nicer than that, right? Teamwork make the dream work, baby. So, as you can see, it's already looking amazing. And the smell, I can't get over the smell, the, the aroma coming out from this seasoning. Wow. I highly suggest you guys, Season this overnight. You can't go wrong. You cannot go wrong, my friend. My beautiful people. And like I said, I go by the name of Ike. Ike Life in Canada. I'm just a beginner at the cooking thing. New beginnings here. I never had a reason to cook. <laughs> And God knows, man, I haven't been in the kitchen doing that stuff and, bro, I never had a reason to, like I said. All I knew was to work hard, go out the road and work hard, come home to my family, and that was it. So, after, after a very long time, living with somebody and circumstances yada yada you everybody chose to go their separate ways so now i'm in the kitchen learning this for myself right you're not gonna starve you know you have to eat man happy eat according to popcorn man just a cook brother <laughs> yeah man so that is it my people that is it that is it trust me it's no biggie we all gonna do it we all can be in the kitchen doing it as you can see guys make sure and then you can control your stove if it's too if you think like it's 
if too much is happening you could always turn it down to the very lowest so that way you could catch up on it right so don't mind me moving around like I'm some pro I'm just a beginner at cooking so I love it like I said I love it I love it there's nothing I'm so excited and the thing about it it became an obsession to me because right after I'm done cooking and everybody's eating and just chilling and giving the feedback at the table my brain is automatically thinking of tomorrow what should I cook what should I cook like it's become an obsession because you never used to right and you just for some reason just it tastes amazing it's you just like you can't believe it so you just kind of like i'm gonna turn this all the way down i'm gonna remove these guys in there those baby needs to come out from here so i should get myself a different bowl guys you need to get yourself something else to put it in sorry i got stood down i'm just gonna get another bowl so i could get those guys out of there and start the boiling process for them so as you can see beautiful kind of lies there baby let's get those bad boys out of here beautiful guys look beautiful look look you see beautiful beautiful this is exactly what we want this is what we want so whatever pieces you see you want to put in a little bit longer it's fine you could just take your time like i said make sure your stove is turned down and don't get burned like myself but hey we live and we learn right the pros and cons of cooking but i like it i wouldn't stop doing it for now i wouldn't stop and i'm trying to learn to do the breakfast now too so i can't wait for the weekend i'm gonna see my son i'm gonna make him cornmeal porridge because <laughs> he used to love when his mom make it for him so i'm gonna try to learn that one so yeah just to give him something different i already did the um what you might call that french toast he likes my french toast so far so he's laughing all the time oh my god dada dada knows how to cook now <laughs> so yeah and I'm like, I told you I know how to cook now, I'm learning it. <laughs> you thought I was kidding. He's like, yep. So, that brings a little joy to my heart, you know. Because really and truly, I used to like, every time he comes to visit, I take him, um, we go down the, down the street to um, dine in at this um, breakfast place. Don't get me wrong, from time to time, it's nice to go out and stuff, right? But the fact that I can do that for him right here, and it doesn't even cost me that much, you know, to do that stuff. Eggs I already have, seasonings you already have, whatever you have in your fridge, you know? Bread, eggs, you, like I said, you just do your little French toast, right? So... that's it as you can see they look just amazing guys just amazing so you just want to take them out at this point you see at this point everything looks so amazing look looks sweet and delicious right so jamaican oxtail jamaican yardman food man yeah man so now what you want to do is this is still going on Oh my god, my dog is getting on crazy now. So you just wanna put a leftover seasoning that you had your meat in overnight. So the leftover seasoning, like I said, you just need to pour it right into the pot. Right into the pot. Waste not. 
so again I'm gonna turn up my stove just a little bit to keep it going and then that's about it guys but one thing I, I learned this needs a very long time to um to really cook so we're looking at a couple hours here something like two hours three hours so you just want to put it on low the very low heat medium heat in fact and just let it from time to time come around if you're a spoon and i suggest you use a wooden spoon so you don't get the bottom of your pot all scratched up so i got myself those spoons so i'm just gonna from time to time walk around and yeah that is it my people so Jesus Christ. Yep. Yeah, man, you gotta cook your food yourself. Things are getting hard. Things are rough out there, you know, guys? You could cook yourself a nice pot yourself instead of going and buying this shitty food out there. You go and get yourself your oxtail. You go get yourself your bell peppers, thyme, onions, green onions. You got your all-purpose seasoning. You got your garlic powder. You got your onion powder. Whatever seasoning you like, right? And just mix it up nicely in there. Black pepper, whatever you like, guys. So as you can see I had my stove on very low so I don't burn too much because like I said newbies for us newbies better we turn it down we are not that crafty yet in cooking <laughs> so we take it easy we are no rush so as you can see I just let this do it little thing here And I suggest, guys, if you want to get this even better, get yourself beef broth. Yeah. Beef broth in this. I'm just going to let this do a little steam here. Get all my seasoning together nicely in there. And then, guys, I'm going to pour myself a beef broth oh yes baby yeah yep i'm just gonna put some of this in there and then we take our meat and we start sliding those babies back in there yep we start putting our little babies in there. Oh man, I can't wait. After two minutes in the kitchen, guys, it's starting to happen. The smell from this, I'm already feeling like I ate a huge plate of food. You know? But like I said, I enjoy doing it, so it's no biggie for me. You know, you find new passion, you find stuff that that keeps you away from scrolling all day on your, your, your phone, you know? You know? Or gallivanting around the, the place. You know, be a street walker. You find stuff, you humble yourself, sit at home and, you know, do little stuff like that. Yeah. So, I'm just waiting on this. There's no need to, but hey, since I'm at it, why not enjoy it? <laughs> so, that's the famous oxtail. 
Yeah, man. You know, I, I have no idea where is Oxtail from, what animal Oxtail is from. I have no idea. Come to think about it. Yeah. As you can see, this is boiling because I have my stove on high heat. Right? And I, I use the non sticky pot, right? The sticky pot. The non sticky pot, I meant. So I don't get that burning all up in the bottom of it. So, the rest of my beef broth, I'll leave here for now. This stuff is beautiful sauce on this. Every bit counts. And then, guys, what you want to do is. Um, as you can see I try cleaning up I don't suggest you doing this if you you know I don't suggest doing that but I like to be cleaned as I go along I like my things to be clean maybe it's just my OCD but yeah maybe it's my OCD kicking in but you want to turn this down you do not need this to be born in rapid fire like this <laughs> so we need to turn it down i'm gonna do this right now everything sits nicely in there so we turn this right down you can put this on medium or you could have it on low or something you know medium or just shy past the low mark and just let this you know do its own stuff you know and just let this do whatever it likes to so I do not need this again I'm just gonna let this like I said this thing whew, it needs a long time to cook guys long long time it's been a long time we're getting our pot cover guys so you need yourself a pot cover as you can see mine has holes in it one hole in it so I'm gonna cover that if yours do not have a hole this might just be steaming off so you just want to keep this on low if you you do not have one of those pot covers what I suggest you do you leave cover it like leave a little space so the this could just vent it way out of there so but for me I could cover it because I like I said I have a hole in the top cover so that's it guys this is all it is this is the beautiful one like i said please do not leave this on high heat i do not suggest that you can turn this down to medium keep an eye on it every so often you could come around with your big spoon every so often and you could just make sure it's not getting stuck in the bottom right if you do not have beef broth i suggest you could use a little bit of water take some a tap water or and fill it up a little bit not too much water as you can see because this is gonna make it make its own water so as you can see from the pot it's starting to sweat the cover and then yep this liquid stays right into the pot and then you get yourself the sauce the gravy yes guys that is it so we leave this baby up like I say again your stove control make sure it's on medium or somewhere around the low mark and let this baby boil up every every so often you come with your spoon stir it up make sure it's not getting stuck in there if you notice it's dry pour a little bit of water in there stir it up cover it up and like I say couple hours we check on it every so often okay guys yes my people now that we have gotten this far now is not the time to give up <laughs> so your pot should be steaming up still like I said at this point we are two and a half hours into this boiling stuff so as you can see looks beautiful the smell is gorgeous and I just decided to put on some rice it's been there I've been prepping up these veggies there so 
Yep, I'm gonna make some coleslaw with that. And let's get into it. You need mayo, you need vinegar, salt, you already got, black pepper, you already got, sugar, I'm sure you got. So let's get right into it. And first, you put, let's put two scoops of this in the mayo. I put two scoops of mayo in there. And mayo. I'm gonna put some sugar. Where's my sugar? I don't have anything here right now. Okay. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of vinegar. Teaspoon of vinegar in there. Yep, yeah, the oxtail is on. So I'm gonna finish pour up my leftover broth. I'm just gonna fill it up in there. Yeah. Let this boil. I'm gonna give this a little water also. I wanna pour in some water in this baby. Just a little water in your ox still. So let me just let this sit a bit and do its stuff. Yeah, guys, that is it. So let's get back into our coleslaw. So far, we got mayo. If you were paying attention, you got vinegar in there, which is a tablespoon. Not a tablespoon, it's a teaspoon in there and we need some sugar i'ma just put some sugar in this yep and what else we need in here i'm gonna get ourselves a pinch of salt just a pinch of salt guys nothing too serious and you could get yourself some black pepper if you have one of those fancy stuff peppercorn I don't know. I'm putting a little bit of this in there peppercorn so yeah and we just mix this up a bit and we just mix this up a bit I feel like I need my black pepper uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Yep, guys. Just like that, and the coaster is ready for the go. Just like this. We got everything mixed up in here. What we do, we throw this bad boy in here. I'm gonna mix this as I go along. So I'm gonna put some of this, some of this, so it's easier. Mix up a bit. Right? That is it. It's just cabbage and your carrots. You just slice them up. Mix them in this, and this can sit here for now. Let me get rid of this, babies. And that is it, my people. Your oxtail is still on the go. We haven't gotten that far yet to put in our butter beans, but that will go in in a few. I haven't forgotten about the butter beans. So, as we should, we should mix up this baby up. Ooh. We should mix this bad boy up. I feel like I gotta put a little bit of everything back in there because I'm cut up a little bit too much. So, which is okay, we can do that also. I feel like my rice is done. So, let's do this, guys. So 
So I feel like I can put a little bit more mayo and stuff in there. Just get this a little bit more. Like I said, if you cut up a little too much stuff, it's okay. I just put, uh, maybe put one more scoop of this. And we follow the same steps. Right? A little of this, a little bit of sugar again. Same stuff. A little sugar. Not too much. And then we can do the same thing. Get a little vinegar again if you want to. Or we can do the black pepper. Where is the black pepper? I can't find it, but... Yep, I'm going to do a little black pepper sprinkle on it. Yep. Yep, we're going to mix this bad boy up. Yep, my people. Yep, that is it. As you can see, this baby is mixing up nicely in there. And just like that, you get yourself coleslaw to go with your oxtail. Yep, yep, yep. Just like that, my beautiful people. There you go. Coleslaw is done. That's all it takes. Nothing too crazy. I've seen people put raisins in those, you know. Some people put eggs. There's many different ways to make this. I shall taste this. Mm. I suggest a little bit more sugar in this one. I want to feel the, taste that sweetness. Again, I put in a little sugar. It's all based on your taste buds. However you prefer it, you make it. But those are the, the little ingredients you can throw in there. So if you like it a little bit sweeter, you taste and you go along and add your sugar. But yeah, that is it, my people. Now I'm going to just throw this in the fridge. Throw this bad boy up in the refrigerator. And just like this, your coleslaw are done. And coleslaw are done. Look at this oxtail. The rice. Yep. Everything is coming into place nicely. And the rice should be covered up. But yeah, the rice are done. Usually I add a little foil on the rice. But the rice is done. This little bad boy. So now guys, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the butter beans. Open up the butter beans. We're gonna pour this liquid. Ding, 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 ding. Cold slow. I'm gonna cover up and put away in the refrigerator. This is your butter beans, guys. Spread this bad boy all over the pot nicely. You know what I'm missing? We're missing the bay leaf. I thought I had it here, but for some strange reason, I had none in here. So, we're gonna get this bad boy out. Make sure your can is empty. Waste not. Yep, waste not, my people. Just gonna throw in our butter beans in here.
That is it. Now that the brother in being sense in there, uh, we just let this do its stuff. Let this keep on boiling till it's nice and juicy, and the meat fall off the bone, and then we see manja. So that is it, my people. So as you can see. We let this baby relax a bit. Cold slot is done. Cover up this baby. Yep, and we go. Yes, my beautiful people. We're gonna still as we come and see. You could see our ox still is yep, bright, shining bright. There's our beautiful oxtail. Look at this baby up, guys. Look at this. Oh man, this is gorgeous. And nothing gorgeous. And I'm gonna have myself some fried plantain in the meantime, too. So let's get into it. We're gonna put ourselves some fried plantain, which is already peeled. And we're gonna just throw it over here. Maybe I should get this plate closer. So I can just do the fried planting over here in the meantime. Move this over. Yep. So you could do yourself some fried planting like I said in the meantime. So just something to go with your coleslaw, to go with your rice and your oxtail. So Yep, my guys. Yes, my people. That is it. <laughs> Learning how to cook. That's all we can do. Learning how to cook. Yep. Yep. Let that stay in there a bit. And then. Yeah, man. Thing to get sticky in the pot. All I have in the pot is a little oil, a little cooking oil in the pot. Make sure your stove, your burner is not on too high, otherwise that thing gets stuck in the bottom of your pot and you do not need that. Learn from experience. <laughs> <laughs> Trials and errors. <laughs> yeah, my people. Yeah. yeah. Looking good, guys. Looking good now that you have gotten so far into the game. Your house should smell like the aroma from the cooking should make its way to your neighbors. <laughs> so that's when you know. Victory is yours, guys. Welcome to the cooking channel. Learn, come learn with me in the kitchen. I'm gonna try to get all of this in here, you know. I'm trying to get all of every single piece in this little pot, and I think I will if I just take it easy one go that is it guys that is it plate is done ox still is doing what it loves best and it's just slow cooking all the way so as you can see the ox tail is like oh my gosh this ox tail is just like beautiful guys beautiful job Guys, at this moment, you should be proud of yourself. After three hours of cooking, slowly cooking on medium heat, your ox still should look like this, along with your butter beans. Yeah, I just wait up everything because I can. And there's your oxtail, guys. 
that is it as you wait for your thing your rice is here plain rice is here I got my coleslaw in the fridge waiting and yeah let's keep it going guys again oxtail that is it <laughs>